Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 823 tonight for Saturday Night at the Movies in honor of the new Batman movie that is out. We are doing Batman trivia, but this is not specifically that Batman movie. This is the Batman film franchise from the 1960s to present day. So the questions can come from any of the Batman movies. Good luck. Question number one. Based on the Batman television series, the first feature-length theatrical movie about the comic book character was released in 1966 and starred Burt Ward as the sidekick Robin and what man as the caped crusader? The original movie Batman was Adam West. Question number two. Flash forward to the 1989 and 1992 versions of the film. What actor was controversially chosen to play Batman despite concerns that he was already typecast as a comedic actor and may not be able to pull off a serious role? That man was Michael Keaton. Question number three. Concerns also mounted about the director of the 1989 and 1992 versions because the man chosen to direct both films had only directed two movies before, Pee-wee's Big Adventure and Beetlejuice. What was the name of this director? We just did a quiz on him not too long ago. The answer is Tim Burton. Question number four. 1995's Batman Forever and 1997's Batman and Robin were Warner Brothers' next feature films in the comic franchise. What was the name of the director of those two movies who also directed films like Falling Down, Tigerland, and Phone Booth? The late 90s Batmans were directed by Joel Schumacher. Question number five. While they were successful at the box office and praised for their cinematography and music, the Schumacher era Batman films were widely criticized in pop culture, mainly for their addition of what feature to Batman's suit? The 90s Batman suit had nipples. None of the other ones do. <laughs> Question number six. Fresh off the success of 1993's Tombstone, where he played Doc Holliday, 1995's Batman Forever starred what Hollywood action star as Bruce Wayne after Michael Keaton passed on returning to the franchise? Batman Forever starred Val Kilmer. Question number seven. Batman Forever had an all-star lineup with Nicole Kidman as Dr. Chase Meridian, Tommy Lee Jones as Harvey Dent and Two-Face, and what legendary film funny man as Edward Nigma, also known as the Riddler? Enigma was played by Jim Carrey. Question number eight. After the actor from 1995's Batman had some scheduling conflicts, what other actor, famous from his work in TV's ER and his recent starring role in From Dusk Till Dawn, was stuck in the suit for 1997's Batman and Robin?
I always forget about him playing Batman. George Clooney was 1997's Batman. Question number nine. In the 1997 version of the film, Arnold Schwarzenegger plays the role of Mr. Freeze, Alicia Silverstone played the role of Batgirl, and Uma Thurman played what femme fatale character with a deadly kiss? Uma Thurman played Poison Ivy. Question number 10. After an eight-year hiatus, the franchise roared to life again with a dark and gritty version of Life in Gotham under the reign of Cillian Murphy's brilliantly portrayed character, The Scarecrow, who directed the 05, 08, and 2012 versions of Batman. The answer is Christopher Nolan. Question number 11. The middle movie in the Dark Knight trilogy introduced the world to one of the best portrayals of a comic book villain brought to the big screen ever. When what man posthumously won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for his role as the Joker? The answer is Heath Ledger. Question number 12. In 2005's Batman Begins, 2008's The Dark Knight, and 2012's The Dark Knight Rises, what is the name of the English actor who took up the role of Gotham's Defender in the most successful string of Batman movies ever? Those were all played by Christian Bale. Question 13. Now a subsidiary of Warner Brothers Entertainment, what is the name of the American comic book publisher that is one of the largest and oldest comic companies in the world that has created iconic characters like Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman? The answer is DC Comics. Question 14. After the events of 2013's Man of Steel, Bruce Wayne sees Superman as a danger to the public and sets out to stop him in 2016's Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Henry Cavill plays Superman and what actor plays an aged Batman? The answer is Ben Affleck. Question number 15. Starring Margot Robbie, Will Smith, and Jared Leto, what other 2016 superhero film, based on the DC Comics supervillain team of the same name, got an uncredited cameo appearance from Ben Affleck's Batman? He popped in for a second in Suicide Squad. Question 16. Although Joss Whedon took over director duties post-production on 2017's Justice League, what was the name of the director who started the project and whose cut of the film was finally released on HBO in 2021? That special edition was called the Zack Snyder Cut. The answer is Zack Snyder. Question number 17. A spin-off of the hugely successful Lego movie from 2014. What is the name of the Arrested Development actor who voices Batman 
in the surprisingly well-produced 2017 animated film, The Lego Batman Movie. The answer is Will Arnett. Question 18. Director Todd Phillips, famous for movies like The Hangover Franchise and Old School, shocked the world by releasing what R-rated 2019 movie in the Batman franchise that did not have a Batman in it, but it did gross over $1 billion at the box office. The answer is Joker. Question 19. Moving on from playing angsty vampires, what English actor donned the black mask for the 2022 film The Batman that was directed by Matt Reeves and also starred Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman? His name is Robert Pattinson. Question number 20. The same through most every version of the story, what is the first and last name of Bruce Wayne's loyal, trusted butler, who is one of the few characters to know him by both identities? His name is Alfred Pennyworth. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow. Let's see, tomorrow will be lightning round. I think lightning round number three or four. That's the quicker questions and the faster paced trivia quiz. Similar to the Friday night pub quiz, but like I said, it, it goes a little bit faster. So there are a lot of people that don't like the longer narrated questions. They like the short and simple trivia. You're looking for Sunday night lightning round trivia tomorrow. Check back. Also, we just released a trivia quiz this week called World War II Trivia. And I joked about doing nine other ones because there was so much information possible uh, so much stuff I could have done a quiz on but then that trivia quiz got the most views in 24 hours of any of our other videos I think that was episode number 820 or something like that either way no other trivia quiz in the last 819 episodes got as many views as that one did in its first 24 hours it was 2200 I've got it wrote down somewhere but it was around 2200 views in 24 hours that's almost a hundred views every hour for 24 hours straight hopefully someday in the future that seems like not a lot but right now that is incredible and we got like 40 new subscribers on that day so thank you I don't remember who suggested World War II trivia but I appreciate it because like I said I can't believe it's been this long since I've and I haven't done a World War II trivia, but be on the lookout for about eight or nine more of them because there's so much information that I can do, and that one was so popular. Clearly, people want to be quizzed on World War II. So thank you for that. Here is question 21 on Batman. In 2004, what film about a Batman supporting character received seven Golden Raspberry Award nominations and won in the categories of Worst Picture, Worst Actress, Worst Director, and Worst Screenplay, with many critics considering it to be one of the worst overall films of all time. It's not a Batman specific movie, but it is in the Batman franchise. The answer 
The actress was Halle Berry. The title of the movie was Catwoman. One of the worst movies of all time. To be honest, I have that movie, I have that DVD, but I've never seen it. So, you know how I like terrible movies. I'm going to have to check it out now. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, Road Trivia videos don't ever end up on your list of worst videos of all time. But if they do, let me know below which ones you hate. And I did just get a really, not a mean uh, comment <laughs> on YouTube, but I did have somebody say something about, what the hell kind of music are you playing? Or something along those lines. So if you don't like something about these trivia quizzes, I do take all suggestions seriously. Whether or not I actually act on them is another thing, but I will listen to you, and I will have more of a chance of doing it if you're nice about it, but I will listen to all complaints about the channel. Thank you for watching, and thank you for not having too many of them. See you tomorrow.